Okay, well, let's see if we can uh, write this program so it doesn't use any RAM. Uh, let's see, first of all, we're setting the stack pointer here. Uh, we're not going to use the stack pointer, so we can get rid of all of this stuff. Uh, maybe we'll just comment it out. Um, all right, and uh, the Flash program just loads C into A and does a sim, calls a delay, and then loads 40 into A and calls sim. So, and here's the call to delay. So we will take a copy of this delay program and we will put it here. Paste. So we do not need call delay. We now have our delay program in line. All right. And uh, we have another delay down here. So we can get rid of this one. And we can just take this and put it here. And um, get rid of the return statement. And we're going to have to relabel these PT 11 and 21, 11 and 21. All right, so that should be it. Let's see if it makes sense. This is the compiled code. Uh, delayed, move A, decrement, decrement, jump to P2, jump to P1. Move. That looks good. Uh, let's see. Uh, these delays. Let's see. We're not. We don't ever use. We don't ever use delay. So that is redundant. Okay. And well, let's just get rid of this. I don't want it. All right. Flash sim. I'll wait, dump sim, and a jump flash. So it goes round and round and round, and we have PT1, PT2, PT11, PT21. And make it look pretty. I don't think the comments will match anymore, but that's okay. All right, so we have a new hex code. Uh, I don't see any errors. So let's create a new text document called 8085 SOD no mem. Oh, dot hex. Dot hex. Okay, and we will grab this right here. Copy, paste. Okay, now we have a new hex file. Save that. Open up our programmer. Uh, 85. Here we go. No memory. Load it. So here we go. We can check to see if our looks good. Three starts with a three, ends with a zero zero, which doesn't help. Um, C three zero zero. So C three zero zero. Yep. So that looks like it loaded correctly. And we will put the part in and program it. Program. Programming successful, okay. Uh, let's go through the garage and uh, see if it does anything different. And power it up. 
and look at SOD. It's low. <laughs> wow. Okay. So even that won't do anything. Let's see, we have a clock and we have. Hmm. Why is memory being accessed? Does that make sense? Hmm. That doesn't make sense to me. Why is memory being accessed? Unless it's just, uh, hmm. I'm not sure. I'm looking at the, uh, um, ROM chip select and the RAM chip select, and they're both toggling. So does that make sense? Hmm. Maybe not. Interesting. Well, that might be a clue. Um, let's take a look at the address lines. Which are uh, address lines start at in twenty one toggling, toggling, toggling. They are all toggling. Is that correct? Hmm. Well, since this doesn't work, maybe the thing to do is uh, one of the viewers suggestion, which was to put in a, uh, a program that's just zeros everywhere and see if this thing at least is uh, counting correctly in address space. Um, this seems very strange right now, um, but like I said, uh, probably after this thing to do is hook up a logic analyzer with a whole bunch of wares.